In this video, we are going to learn how you can add MySQL data to MS Excel automatically. So the idea here is that you are using MySQL as your database management software application and the data is getting added from various sources to your MySQL database table. Now you want that whenever a new data is added to your MySQL database table, automatically the same data should be added to your Excel spreadsheet also. For that, you need to integrate your MySQL with MS Excel. So here your trigger application would be MySQL and your action application would be MS Excel. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect? For that, you need to come to my screen. Welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is a website of Pabli. If you're a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you're going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as add MySQL data to MS Excel. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to add the MySQL data to our MS Excel spreadsheet. So first we are going to integrate MySQL with Pabli Connect. So just open this trigger window and here choose the application name as MySQL. Select the trigger event as new row in a table. Now click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the database username, database password. So here you have to enter your username, database name as well as the password details. And now it is asking for the host, database and the port. For that, I'll just take you to my MySQL account. And here you can see that the server name is local host in my case. So here you have to enter your host name, the actual host name. And here itself, you can find the database name also. So you have to simply copy your database name and you have to just paste it over here along with the port. Okay. Once you have entered all these details, simply click on save to create a connection. As I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now the MySQL account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now in this particular account, I have created some tables. I'll just show you that also. Here I have already created three tables. Okay. That is candidate details, digital ocean and payment status in my database. So all the three table names are captured over here. Okay. So now I want that whenever a new data is added to my candidate details table, then only this particular workflow should run. So I have selected the same table name over here. And now it is asking for the unique column. Select unique primary key column so we can fetch the newly updated records properly. Usually you need to select your unique ID column over here. So I have already selected the same that is unique ID that is the candidate ID over here. Okay. So here let's move to our database and from here I'm just going to open my table. So we have selected this column that is candidate ID over here as a unique column. Okay. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first I'm going to fill in the details in my MySQL database table. So the det details can be captured in your MySQL database table from any source, okay, from any application or from any source. For that, I have already created a Google form by which I'm going to enter the details in my MySQL database table, okay. So let us fill in the details. Let's give the name of the candidate as demo name, email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the mobile number over here. And I'm selecting the status as offered and click on submit. So the form has been filled. Now I'm just going to check my MySQL database table. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and here we can see that uh, the candidate details are added to the MySQL database table. We can find the candidate ID as five, name as demo name, his email address, phone number and the status as offered. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest data. Okay. 
Okay, and here we can see that the same candidate details are captured over here in the response also. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Okay, and here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every one hour. Okay, so now we want this data to be added to our MS Excel spreadsheet. So now we are going to integrate MS Excel with Pavlikanate. So open this action application and here choose the application name as Microsoft Excel. Select the action event as add row to the worksheet. Click on connect, click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking let this app access your info. So let's scroll down and click on yes to give away the permissions over here. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Excel account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now as we have created a connection here we can find all the workbooks that we have created in our Microsoft Excel account. So here I have already created a workbook that is candidate data from MySQL where I am taking the same columns that is the name of the candidate, his email address, phone number and the status. And here you can see that the sheet name is candidates. So I will be selecting the same workbook name in public connect that is candidate data from MySQL. Now as we have created a single worksheet in this particular workbook, the worksheet name is automatically captured. But if you have created multiple worksheets, from the drop down you can select your specific worksheet name. Now here we have to add the details that needs to be added to the columns that is the name, email address, phone number and other details. So we have already got all these details from our trigger response over here. So we will be mapping these details one by one. Okay, let's scroll down. First of all, let us map the name, come to MySQL trigger response and select the name from the drop down. In the same way, we are going to map the email address. Let us map the phone number also. And here we will be mapping the status as offered. So we have mapped all the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a new data is added to an Excel spreadsheet. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Okay, and here we can see that a new candidate data is added. Name as demo name, email address as demo at pablitudes.com. Here we can find the phone number and the status as offered. So in this way, we have set up that automation and our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now as we have set up an automation, this is a one-time process. Next time, whenever the data will be added to your MySQL database table, automatically your same data will be added to MS Excel spreadsheet also. So we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to the Google form once again. And here I'm just going to enter the details of some other candidate. Let's give the name of the candidate as dummy name this time. Email address as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com let's enter the mobile number and this time selecting the status as hired and click on submit so here we can see that the form has been filled now first we are going to check our mysql database table that whether the details are added or not we have to just refresh it and here we can see that the details are added now let's check our ms excel spreadsheet we have to just refresh it and even after refreshing, we can't find the candidate details added over here just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So here we have to wait for some time. So it's almost 10 to 12 minutes. Let's refresh this particular Excel sheet once again. Okay, and here we can see new details added to the Excel spreadsheet. And here we can find the name as dummy name this time. Here we can find the email address as dummy at pablitudes.com. We can find the phone number and here we have got the status as hired. So in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between MySQL database table and Pabli Connect so that whenever the data is added to your MySQL database table from any source 
automatically the public connect is going to capture the response and then using those details we have added the same data to your microsoft excel specific worksheet and in this way we have learned that how we can add mysql data to ms excel using public connect thank you so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pabli connect in case of any queries you can visit our pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone